Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how to make these gorgeous moon phase peg dolls. They are absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to share this video with you. So let's get into it. For this project you'll need eight peg dolls. These are large peg dolls and you'll need four male and four females. Or you could have eight males and eight females, that's up to you. I purchased these from a vendor on eBay and I'll make sure to list it in the description box. Next, you'll need some beautiful glitter pure wool felt. I bought these from Bumblebee Designs and uh, they're about $5.25 each sheet. You'll also need some embroidery needles, you'll need fabric scissors, you'll need twine, you'll need a pattern, you'll need um, some silver paint. I'm using here my Kuretake um, Starry Night. You'll need a palette, you'll need water, brushes, you'll need some watercolor paints, and a glue gun. Also, if you're using watercolor paints, you'll need an eco sealant. Here I have a mixture of beeswax and coconut oil. This is what they look like when they've been painted. And now I'm just going to wait half an hour or so just to be sure that they're dry. And then I'm going to um, use my Kuretake um, Starry Night watercolors and um, kind of try and sprinkle some either silver or gold or a mixture of both onto the peg dolls and to make the star effects. And then we'll start with the hats.
I just took this off the double broiler and um, I'm using a very thick paintbrush and I'm going to just coat these. So you have a, so you, I'll show you what that looks like. Part. Now that our pig dolls have been sealed, we can start with the hats. So I came up with this idea of doing moon-shaped hats. Um, so I had a few examples beforehand, and um, they were both too small. And then I finally um, tried a different size. So this is the front and the back. And I made it um, in a different felt to try it out to make sure that it would fit. And so I made this little doll for my daughter after I made the hat and she loves it. It's pretty cute. And so, yeah, so this is what it looks like. So the front is slightly um, shorter than the back. And I just did a blanket stitch to put them together. And for the um, blanket stitching, uh, I'm going to use this metallic wire. But if, it's, if I find like it's too difficult to use, then I'll just use a silver thread that I will... Um, open up and use like a few strands instead of this whole thick string here. So I'm about to trace them onto the felt and I'm just I just thought I would show you how I do it just to save as much felt as possible. So since they're both kind of crescent shaped, well they are crescent shaped, you can kind of put them into each other so that you can save space instead of having to, you know, cut rectangles and then cut that out. I decided to use the silver and charcoal for the hats, so the silver will be the front and the um, charcoal will be the back. And so I drew eight shapes of the front and back here. And so now I'm just going to cut them and then I'll blanket stitch them together. I cut my first um, two halves, so this is the front, that's the back. And now I'm going to blanket stitch them together. Before I cut all the rest, I'm just gonna make one just to be sure that it does fit and that it's exactly how I want it to. So this is what it's gonna look like. That's the front, that's the back, and I'll blanket stitch it now.
So I just finished cutting four of the um, silver glitter felts and four of the darker charcoal felt. And I'm using the underside, which is the obviously the pure wool side. And so these are gonna be the moons. So here I just have a picture here from the book Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. Um, there is a page here, just a drawing of the um, eight moon phases here. So there's the full moon, the waxing gibbous, the first quarter, the waxing crescent, the new moon, the waning crescent, the third quarter, and the waning gibbous. So two of them are going to not be cut at all from now. So that's the full, the full moon and the new moon. These are going to be cut in half. Um, these are going to be cut in crescent shapes and these are going to cut, be cut in um, quarters. So yeah, and then I'm going to use my glue gun, which is now nice and warm, and I'm going to glue them onto the dolls. So I arrange them in the order that I want to glue them. So now I'm just going to glue them with a glue gun. So one mistake that I made when I was gluing the moon is that I was looking for the kind of let's say the ugliest spot the ugliest side so I can glue the moon onto it so that the, the rest of the starry night looks really pretty but I forgot to think about the face so I glued on a place where you know ideally I wouldn't want the um, face to be it looks I would have rather the face be on this side so yeah you can see kind of like a little circle here on the side that would have been an ideal face um, so I would have I should have glued it here. Instead, I glued it on the half section of the face. So that was my mistake. It's good that I made the mistake on the first peg doll, and hopefully now I'm going to turn them facing the way that I want them so I won't forget. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue with my glue gun. Here I decided to paint a galaxy onto a sliced piece of raw wood and here is how the girl peg doll turned out. The hat is a tiny bit small for the girl female heads but I still think it turned out really cute. And these are the male peg dolls and their head is slightly smaller so the hat is slightly bigger on, on it. I'm still really happy with it. To display your moon phase peg dolls you can either have them all eight in a circle just you know so that they're always displaying all the phases of the moon or you could have a um, just a singular one that's just displaying what the moon phase is currently or you could have them in a circle of seven with the center um, one being the moon phase if you like this video please consider subscribing and as always thanks for watching